Example 8.2 is typically a 3 mark question as part of the section B. So you have to form the differential equation for this given equation. So it's one of the easiest sums. So there are two constants A and B here. So whenever we have to form the differential equation, we have to remove these two constants. So how can I remove these two constants A and B? When I differentiate once, A will disappear because differentiation of a constant is zero. So likewise, when I differentiate the second time, my constant B will also disappear. Okay, so that's how we have to do the sum. So let's get started. So before I proceed with differentiation, I want to keep the constants on one side. So I'm going to bring this e power 2x down. So it will become y by e power 2x is equal to a plus bx. And e power 2x can be taken up. It becomes e power minus 2x is equal to a plus bx. Now we are ready to differentiate. So this is the uv method. So it is udv plus vdu, right? So now let's first differentiate y with respect to x. So it will be dy by dx into e power minus 2x. I'm not going to do anything with that. Plus vdu. So now we have to differentiate e power minus 2x, right? So it will be minus 2 e power minus 2x and y remains as it is. This is clear. And here, when on the right hand side, when we differentiate, differentiation of a is 0 and only b remains. So, let this write it, write this above equation e power minus 2x dy by dx minus 2y e power minus 2x equal to b, right? So this is the equation I have got now. But I am still not happy because I have to remove b. So how do I remove b? I differentiate again. Now you have to apply the uv method for each of these terms, okay? So just do it carefully. So let's differentiate dy by dx first and have e power minus 2x as it is. So it will be, I'll choose a different color, d squared y by dx squared into e power minus 2x, right? Plus, now you have dy by dx as it is and differentiate the other term. So when you differentiate e power minus 2x, it is nothing but minus 2 into e power minus 2x. Right? Don't worry about these brackets. We'll solve them later. Now, minus. Let's go to the next one. You can take even that minus 2 can be brought outside. So I'll just write it a little bit clearly. So minus 2 into. First, left, let's differentiate y. So it will be dy by dx e power minus 2x plus, right, we leave y as it is and differentiate e power minus 2x. So you get minus 2 into e power minus 2x. Of course, you close the brackets. So let's expand this. So you get d squared y by dx squared e power minus 2x minus 2 dy by dx into e power minus 2x, right? And the next one will be minus 2 into e power minus 2x dy by dx. I am just rearranging this and writing, not doing anything new. Minus 2y into e power minus 2x. And we forgot how to do one main thing. It's that when we differentiate b, it becomes 0. So the right hand side of this equation becomes 0. Right? So now if you see, you know, in this entire equation, e power minus 2x is common. 
so let's take it outside e power minus 2x into d squared y by dy dx squared minus 2 dy by dx minus 2 dy by dx I'm just expanding it anyone can do it faster you can straight away do it plus 4 y right equal to 0 so this is nothing but e power minus 2x d squared y by dx squared now can I add this term and this term yes I can so it becomes minus 4 dy by dx plus 4y equal to 0 so my required differential equation will be I can take e power minus 2x and make it 0 but e power something can never be equal to 0 right so e power minus 2x cannot be equal to 0 ok because even if it's e power 0 it is going to be 1 so it can never be equal to 0 so you can safely write your differential equation as d squared by by dx squared minus 4 dy by dx plus 4y equal to 0 so this is your required differential equation so this is pretty much a very easy sum but I have expanded it and written so that uh, you will be able to understand it better